The stage is set for the divisional round of the NFL playoffs, so it's time we take some inventory in looking at these four games. We'll start in the NFC. Bucks at Lions. What an interesting matchup with Detroit Baber by six, followed by the Packers and the 49ers. Niners favored by nine and a half. So justice was served for Detroit, right? Dallas ultimately lost the game that Detroit, in theory, should have won because of the whole mix-up with the referee. But here's Detroit in the divisional round and getting a host, the Bucks, who were very impressive, but the Eagles were a complete no-show. So what do we make of Tampa Bay? They certainly looked healthier. Their offense looked more explosive than I expected. And the defense is legit. I was big on this Bucks team coming into the year, all year. I mean, Todd Bowles, like, they have a real defense. The question is, can they take off the top off Detroit's questionable secondary? I think it's too many points. I'm gonna I'm looking at the underdogs all weekend. I'm going to start with the Bucs. Detroit's a nice story and a great story, and they may keep winning, but it's a lot of points. I, you wonder if they're celebrating too much just for getting that first playoff win in decades. I think that's the right side. In terms of the Packers and Niners, like, San Francisco rested Purdy, and then you get the bye. It's almost three weeks without a meaningful game, but they've been so good. So maybe they start slow. This Packers team, remember they had to put their starters back in. Like They're not that good. Like Dak was terrible uh, in the pick six. So I think ultimately the Niners run away with it, but this is a different Jordan Love that we've seen. Um, I just think we're going to see a different Jordan Love this weekend facing this Niners pass rush that we've seen against some of these leaking defenses. Absolutely. All right. The AFC picture, a little bit more predictable, kind of saw this one coming, but the Chiefs are at the Bills, their first playoff road game, which is big for Mahomes. Uh, Buffalo has the edge in this one, two and a half point favorites. And then Texans at Ravens, Baltimore favored by eight and a half. Yeah, I think because Houston looks so good, so I thought it'd be high. You know, I mean, it's kind of a dead zone, but for teasers, it's, it's eight and a half matters, much more than nine and a half. I think Baltimore's probably the right side. I think the physicality will be a lot, but C.J. Stroud, man, he looks legit like a future MVP, and they talked about it in the broadcast so effectively, just his mid-range throws under pressure, and he's so the pinpoint accuracy. I think that might frustrate Baltimore if he can do that early, and we'll see. So much pressure on the Ravens. We know the last time they were the one seed, and Lamar was the MVP. It didn't pan out that well. They lost their first game. I think they'll get him, but this is a tough opponent. This will be a good a good game, I think. And then the other game, I mean, Mahomes, like you said, first time he's on the road, every time he's gone through the playoffs and won and gone to the Super Bowl, it's always been at home. And he's an underdog for the first time outside of a Super Bowl in the playoffs. That'll be interesting, but Buffalo looked the part. I thought KC looked great on Saturday. Now, I know Miami was total wussies, didn't show up, but I thought the edge KC played with and Mahomes' ball was humming in that cold weather. I, I was really impressed with how the Chiefs sort of flipped the playoff switch. It should be an awesome game. The number feels right. You can't get to three. Then all the dogs will sh- all the all the sharps will show up on the dog. I think that's the right number. Buffalo's earned this right. I just think they kind of play with their food a little bit. Question is, which one of these teams that has disappointed so much throughout the year will play with their food less? That is a good question. Now, looking at the overall big picture of all of this, what's jumping out at you? You know. I think the Niners are still the team to beat, but I, I there has been situations in this regular season when Purdy's had to come up with the drive and didn't. Even week two, he didn't play that well. It's probably his worst game, so for me to pick that out, it's not completely fair, but they've been so dominant in so many other games. Like I thought he played really well the Monday Nighter against Minnesota. It's just Cousins was amazing, and then Vikings won that game. I expect the Niners, but it's a weird game, and I don't – I just don't see any of these teams posing threat. I think they'll steamroll Green Bay eventually. I think maybe the first half Green Bay covers. And I don't think Detroit's going to pose much of a problem. I I think the Niners are the bet because I think they're going to the Super Bowl. I think the minus money makes sense in the NFC odds. And I think, but the AFC, I mean, it's the bracket is breaking favorably for the Baltimore, but not easily. Like you get Mahomes and Allen on the other side. So that's nice. He only has to play one of them if they win. But it's still a tough game. They'll get them at home. The physicality and the the receivers for the Ravens. So nothing jumps out in terms of the chalk teams. In terms of the long shots, maybe the Bucs. I mean, Mayfield played great. I mean, I know Philly was terrible, but he hit everybody in stride. Like the pinpoint passing was there regardless of who's defending. 
So maybe there's a little value on the Bucks just because their defense is so um, potent and so legit. So I think if I had to take a flyer, it'd be the Bucks, which are asking a lot for them to go into Detroit. But they did get one home game, so it's nice that they didn't have to go three straight road games. They got a home game and then into Detroit, which I think they're capable of winning. And then who knows with that defense in San Fran. I mean, either way, the Bucks or the Lions are going to be in the NFC Championship game. And who had that on their bingo card? I don't know if anyone did, but hey, I'm all for it. All right, well, there you have it. We're taking inventory of the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. 